Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, from Ever Extreme here. Here we are looking at the new map, New American, to display Samuel Batista Modding. 39.8 megabytes of download, and as far as I can gather, this is this particular modder's first mod and first map. And, yeah, I know I'm late, I'm recording this on Tuesday, this came out on Monday the 10th. But yeah, this is a cracking simple map. There are no custom productions, no additional production, not yet, no custom crops, no additional productions. But also, thankfully, no required mods. Don't download this, nothing else downloads it, so that is absolutely lovely. And 39.8 megabytes, a very small map in that in terms of file size, so it is a very simple map. And yeah, so. Go over the description and it goes as following. Welcome to the new American map where the map is plain with medium and large fields with landscape inspired by the region of the United States. The map has all standard productions of the game. The player already starts with a well assembled struder or structure, sorry, of three stables of cows, chickens and sheep with a lot of equipment that be working with grass and a field. And yeah, we do have a field that we can get ready and get cracking on with. Also, start mowing the lawn. The map contains of 56 co common ball land, so I'm not sure what that means. Just the hand able to be purchased. And this includes 36 fields, 8 forestry areas to work on, 5 points to sell. And it goes by the modern ad. says, I hope you like it. Have a good time. So yeah, first of all, this map will be needed an update because I have found I'll say two little issues that again it isn't game breaking or anything like that. One of them is with I think it's yeah, got my notes, the grain mill and sawmill. Something's missing from those, so you get the sound effects from them. But yeah, in terms with actual buildings being there that are non existent. And another one which I'll go around when we go to the ship and that. Yeah, something a bit off with the shop, so yeah, minor update will be needed for those, but apart from that, it is a cracker map. But anyway, so let's start off with slot count. So on new farm mode, which we're on, it is 1026. And this includes all of your equipment, all your buildings, including this little resource search that's got your bells. Yeah, some sort of bells in that seed and first size in that. On farm manager, start from scratch, that goes down to 866. And that is without the buildings and silos, but you still have the equipment. Without the equipment, slot count goes down to 690 slots. Also, with this farm and that, this and that, we'll go over this properly in a sec. But yeah, if you purchase this main farm area over here, You'll also have access and ownership of the BGA. So that is this over here. And yeah, you can sell the BGA plant itself. You can't sell the silos, the lights, or the main station, or anything like that. But yeah, without the BGA, slot count goes down to 679. However, as I mentioned, we do have a resource shed over here. So, bells and that, we'll go over this properly in a sec. If you get rid of all those, sell all your bells, pallets, and slide additive, you can get slot count down to 660. I'm assuming you probably get a bit more of it if you sell your like, productions and that, but using reasonable ways of doing it, I thought, yeah, 660 slots, or yeah, it's not too bad, I'll say, or what's that, 11 slots, so yeah, 671 with the BGA in that, but without your resource stuff over here, so yeah, slot counts are reasonable on this map. But, anyways, so first of all, we'll look into our new equipment you have on new farm remote. Also, there are contracts on this map, so we've got a few contracts already. And yeah, obviously, on new farm modes, you start with the BGA as well. But yeah, we'll go into our equipment. And we've got a plethora of equipment. So, sort of with medium tractors, you've got the Massey Ferguson MFSS 190, the Valmet 8750, John Deere 4755, 
On the harvesters, you got the Deutz Far Top Liner 4090H. That comes with its header and header trader. Also, you got a take hander, the Mantu MRT 6575H. You got the John Deere XUV 865M. For traders, you got the HB Branfer Z10, sorry, 180 double XL Powerflex. For cultivators, you got the Horse Tyranno 3FX. Under seeders, you got the Nordstein HK25 and NS3030. Fertilizers, you got the Amazon ZATS3200. Mowers, you got the Kuhn GMD 3123F and the Kuhn GMD4411. For your tethers and that, you got the Kuhn GF8712. Under your wind mowers, you got the Ponder Top 342. For dragons, you got the Stroutman Zeland CFS 2501DO. Baylor's got the Kuhn VB3190. And also you have a bell loader, so you've got the Agroliner PWO24, a mix wagon, this is the Kuhn Ra142, and yeah, with the tank handle you got the pallet fork, head trailer already mentioned, and you do have three sections of, or three human mounts of the class W1500 weights. So yeah, that is your starting equipment, and what I'll do is I'll go open the help menu, Go to my settings and turn on interactive markers and that. So, have the map open on the bottom left. So, got your farmhouse over here, basic farmhouse and that. And yep, yeah, as I mentioned, this is all base game stuff and that. But it's well being, yeah, it's well implemented. So, first of all, you got a little barn over here on Elm Creek. This would be in the workshop. The workshop is just over here. Now we'll have a look at it in a sec. But yeah, got a shed with a lot of your stuff here. So you've got your mowers, wind rowers, tethers, baiters, forest wagons and all that. No one mix wagon and that. Already ready to go, you got your John Deere with cultivator and weight. Moving on, a bunk silo and your base game Unia Pharma 500 and OB1100. Also you got your Massey Ferguson with a trader and that ready to go. We got a line fill point over here. Your combine and trader. And lastly, I think you got another shed here. So a free big garage or garage, how you want to pronounce it. Turn on lights. Yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. But yeah, also you got your free animal pens. Again, these are all base game items. So yeah, you got your mure heap over here for your cows. And yeah, you got your cows here, so 45 cows. Purchase from, from the dealership or directly, like so. But yeah, as I mentioned, lime station over there. Moving on down here, this is your little resource barn, as one would make it. So, yeah, got your take hander with your pallet fork. So, you got two, fa yeah, I think, yeah, two 1000 year pallets of solid fertilizer. Got a fair few slice bells, straw bells, and that. But yeah, plenty of room in the rafters and that store more items if you wish. More sized bells, more of your hay bells and that as well. And then lastly, you got three bags of fertilizer, so two 1000 litres and one 400 litres. And then also, nicely to start off with, you got some bond size side additive, so no forage harvester and that, or yeah, forage harvester, forage wagons and that jobs are good in there and as we go around here this has got your fuel point so start off with no fuel capacity of 25,000 litres bell loader is over here and then yeah this is gonna be your sheep pen so this will hold 65 sheep and then lastly moving across we've got your chicken pens again base game stuff as I just I mentioned a couple times, but yeah, I thought I mentioned a lot of this earlier on, just so that again you don't get disappointed on or get confused on what's modified, what's base game stuff. But yeah, as I mentioned with the workshop on Elm Creek, I think it is that would be your workshop. However, your workshop trigger is here, and one thing I think would be missing for this something like a little jet washer net. 
Of course, you got the base game jet washer, so got your little carcher here and that, so where are two? Yeah, whack one down here if you wish, you know, toggle free plays, boom, Bob's your uncle, jet washer there. Or again, there's modded jet washers and that if you wish. But yeah, so that is a tour of the main farm. And now let's look cut the BGA, not not BGA, <laughs> the PDA, and your sell point. So yeah, going to be PDA. Under new farm mode, you start off with yeah your main farm with the BGA. On top of fields 30, 31. Now it's going to have your voucher over here ready to drill. And also on top of that, you got access to field 26 or plot 49. And yep, yeah, I'd say for field prices themselves, they aren't that bad, all things considering that. Yeah, for some of your decent fields, you look at 300 grand, 200 grand here and there. Again, some fields do have extra areas in that, so extra grass in that. Also, the periphery of the map is purchasable, so that is the round edges of the periphery. On top of this little town area over here, but weirdly this little dot here is missing, not too sure, but yeah, I'm going to actually want to purchase that a sec, so what isn't purchasable, so I'm guessing it's the house and that. Yeah, let's look on the map and that, got the road junction over here and that. Yeah, actually, I'm not sure what, what, yeah, what is not purchasable in that, so... Yeah, it's like this little area over here, your fresh produce area. Yeah, so... I don't think it's so much the house, could be the house or this little area over here. Actually, we can test this, so... Max something down that, so... Oh no, it's actually the sign that for your fresh produce. Right, no. Yeah, you can place stuff down here by the house and that, so... Yeah, a little bit confused error on it, do apologise, but yeah, before, yeah, something did come up in that was set up the map tour and that. Ah, no, 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 land not own. Yeah, this little small strip of over here, so I'm not sure why this bit here is not purchasable. I'm guessing it's something to do with the sign. But yeah, you can't delete the sign and anything and that. But anyways, uh, sort of diver in there, let's look at the PDA. So yeah, we've got your shopping at, which just has a little bug in that, or a little, little minor issue that's going to need an update, we'll look at that in a sec. That's going to be your spawn point and reset point for your equipment. Moving up north, this is going to be your dairy, so your dairy production, grain milk production, which is one of the issues. Also, the map does have forestry options, if you wish, so yeah, decent amount of forestry areas. Again, big and small, some with fills, some without. Yeah, so that's going to be sawmill over there. And yeah, other more forestry areas over here. Move that northwest. This is going to be a great processing unit and your sugar mill. And just a final reminder all the productions you'll see are base game. Yeah, grain mill and dairy, we just looked at. Move up across, you've got your spinnery. Then your BGA along with your Allen dealership, sell point and your Allen dealer for your purchase in that. Moving down, got your Tesor gas station, then moving south from the main farm that, got your oil mill, cereal factory, then into the town, got your supermarket, you got your Johnson's Farmers Market, pizzeria, bakery, and fast food production. So yeah, now this is going to be sell points. Yeah, as I mentioned, there's no custom crops or anything. And sell prices are, yeah, base game, reasonable and that. But yeah, one thing I forgot to mention that is, yeah, with the stock count situation. So yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like on new, oh, sorry, f farm manager start from scratch without all the buildings, but still with the resources. And then I'm going to show you the BGA area without the BGA.
It's all right. Yeah, just show that off a sec. So let's head across over here. So or if I got somebody in that, just again, that's how I do my map tours and that. Just add a bit of money in. So if anything needs to be purchased, and then yeah, the jobs are good. And so and at least something a bit different rather than a little pickup. Let's lease a tractor. So yep, yeah, spawn point that is over here, but. Again, this is what I mentioned by the sort of being a bit weird that so got your shop icon over here Nat. Then when you leave you come over here and yeah, like there's like a texture difference over here Nat. Yeah, sort of, yeah, I'm not again I'm not too sure Nat. Yeah, it's just a bit odd with the textures. That maybe there's a missing building. I do not know. But yeah, also you got your workshop and that's over here at the store. But yeah, I sort of expect the shop icon to be over here and that. But I guess not. Again, just a minor thing. I just thought it's worth mentioning that. At the end of the day, with my map tours and that, I look at everything and that and give constructive feedback. Yeah, it's not even really a criticism or anything. It's just, again, me being constructive and that. So. How we're gonna do this map tour is we're gonna head up north, do the north section, and then we'll come back south. So yeah, actually, let's head east and that. So yeah, got by feel fifty and that. And yeah, one thing is it's a simple map and that. Again, first map makers, first map and that. And I have to say, it's nicely well done. Also, you've got like, little trees dotted all over the place. So, yeah, we're approaching your fuel station. So, this will be where you fill up in that. And if we head over here as well, got a dealer in that. Yeah, something a little bit odder in that. So, yeah, got your dealer in that. So, let's look at the workshop in that. Hmm, actually, I'm not too sure. So, because, yeah, there's no, like, dealer in that icon. Actually, you know what? This just popped to my attention, so, bear me a sec whilst I figure this out. Because, yep. Why is that there? Is that connected to the shopping at? I am not sure. <sighs> now, right, yeah, figured it out, Nat, so, yeah, this could be, yeah, customized point out, repaint if you want, so, yeah, there's, like, no clear marked area now, like, hazard mark, and I got, you know, info, not if, yeah, info markers and all that stuff on, but, yeah, for some reason, it just seems a little bit odd it did, Nat, but, Anywho, so yeah, leaving the gas station now, so head out of here, drive on the right side of the road. So yeah, just left the fuel station. So yeah, let's head up north. Also, you do have traffic in that. What's that supposed to be like speed bumps and that? Also, do I have to see all weather breaking on? Because, hmm, yeah, seems to be a bit iffy now. There. there we go, that's about what I wanted. But yeah, is that supposed to be like speed bumps and that? I'm not sure. But yeah, a little bit of phasiness and that, but again, a minor thing in that. But yeah, I think there's supposed to be like speed bumps and that. Or like power lines and that, like going across the roads and that, like under the roads and that. Yeah, not sure on that. But yeah, Tail Store is just over here. Oops, sorry. But yeah, like looking around the scenery as well. Yeah, I know the periphery scenery now is a bit copy and paste from. I like to say is like the Alpine map and that, whatever it's called in that. But yeah, moving along, so this is gonna be Andy ship, so 
your buy point for your animals is over here. And then move it across. This is going to be your ammo dealer for your bell cell point and all that. Just around here. But yeah, I know like the hills and that does look a bit out and that, I think, personally. But again, that could be just being that. I'm not from America, I'm not familiar with American landscape because it's so vast and so many different regions. So, again, perhaps I am wrong, but. Yeah, okay, I'm just for a little comment on that. Ooh, what's that? Alright, so yeah, minor, like, again, landscape and stuff and that. But yeah, can this be fixed by the player base? So, I was going to purchase all of this and that. So, yeah, so let's move the player away and that. Can this be fixed with landscaping that? So, on landscaping, level in. So, pick a point. Yeah, let's see there, Nat. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Like, a bit of a weird terrain, and that. Again, yeah, just a lot of things I'm just coming across and noticing as we're going around. But, yeah, so, BJ. <coughs> Basically, 500 kilowatt net or megawatt, whatever. And yeah, actually, yeah, I thought I was going to loop around and come back out, but you know what? Let's come out this way. Also, let's turn these speakers off that. Yeah, Evo, I'm not on the PlayStation 5 as of yet. I will be upgrading to the PlayStation 5 at the end of June into July. Because, yeah. I saw my PlayStation 5 after Covid and that, because I bought your Covid for a stupid price. Need the money for me to now work, but now back at work and that, so... Again, that's why these one reviews and match wars are coming up late. But, anywho, here we are, this is going to be your... Yep, yeah, spinner and that, so just about to say, mix with that with carpentry and that. But, yeah, so... Look forward to getting on PlayStation 5. I know it's going to be an egg of transferring all the save files over in that and other good stuff in that. But yeah, also back onto the map for that. Like, with like, these fields and lands and that, like, from what you can see, yeah, field sizes are pretty decent now, I'd say. Again, there's nothing stopping you now for going bigger than that, go big American, you know, big mega fields and that. Because, yeah, <coughs> again, I'm just looking at, you know, I can think, create a few mega fields now, you know, 12 to 15 could be one field. Thinking 6, 7, and 11, that could be a mega field. 8 wrapped around 9, and maybe even like to 10, and that, 10 towards that pond down south, that could be one thing. Again, just use your imagination if you want to, that. I'm just giving some ideas of that. But yeah, so here we are at the Grey Mill with one of the issues and that, so So yeah, Grey Mill can be purchased here and that. But yeah, you got the sound, but no building or anything. So yeah, again that's what I said about may need an update. But yeah, Grey Mill cell point is over here. So yeah, you can purchase this green mill. And yeah, it'll come up normal on that. Okay, and I'm trying to go around a sec, see if I can sell like the green mill production itself. Because usually you'd be able to sell the green mill now, but <coughs> nothing's come across. Yeah, try to go over that and sell. Yeah, sell the green mill. So yeah, it's like we're already overlapping with that. Hmm, uh, yeah, again, I'm not too sure on that. Just again, pointing things out on that. So I want to come down below and that for them feel free, but just sort of giving my best opinion on that. But yeah, going back towards the farm now, this is going to be your dairy and that. Again, 
Yeah, sorry about the coughing, lads. You know, not feeling a great tit this afternoon, lads. But yeah, like I think we're saying that with the, the mega fields, lads. Cut these trees out, lads. Again, there's a the Trek 600. There's all sorts of other mods, lads. Tree devour, lads. And many, many more. So get rid of these trees if you want. And yeah, create your mega fields to your own heart's content. Yeah, got a little pond in that. Yeah, just getting the map up there, so we're head north. Let's go a bit radical now, we've got a decent tractor in that. Yeah, like size these fields now, like for starting farm that. Absolutely huge now for a good starting farm, especially with that blue floor top liner in that. But, anyways, head across. This is going to be a sugar mill and your great production. Yeah, just taking the views, taking the scenery, Nat. That. That's why I'm going to be doing too many job cuts now in the map tour, Nat. Just taking the vast, beautiful scenery and let the imagination run wild as we head across. Yeah, to rejoin the main road and then we'll head south. Alright, we're at the junction now, just full, enjoy that little bit of quietness and that, that little bit of tranquility. But yeah, so we're heading down now to the town. And yeah, okay, we'll look at all of our soul points and that. Yes, it's a base game and that, but I want to give the mapper his own due and that again. First map and that. He's just said and done to make a map and that. There's even a lot here lot easier said than done. Getting it to one, submitted to a modder to be tested in that. And then two fractions to be passed, and again, be passed on console. But yeah, loving these little details in that. Just, yeah, it just feels very American vibe in us. And yet there are mods on mod hub in that, if you want to, because yeah, all this is purchasable, bought from this little strip there in front of the Johnson's Farmers Market and that, but again, yeah, minor little thing over there and that. Nothing here and there to shout about. But yeah, fills themselves now, so I've got to mention a lot of them. Actually, yeah, I think they're all pretty much very rectangular and that. Very worker friendly and that, so not only a good time there. But yeah, we'll hop across and that, so then we'll go down to. Yeah, I think we'll go down for a six, cut across to the forestry and that, and then we'll go back up from there, but... Ooh, first crash off <coughs> the mat were there. But yeah, again, first of all, to that, for someone's first map and that, that's one thing that I will be taking into consideration that. I do have to say, it's pretty good. Yep, yeah, simple that, but compared to some of the maps we've had, over the last one couple of months and that does look rather good in that so don't worry about crop destruction off of that because you know next thing you know there'll be like massive strongest shaped kind of fields out here if I was getting loose now with a tractor with crop destruction in that but yeah a minor little deviation there let's go for the forestry in that area yeah good simple map and yeah, scoring that will come at the end of the map tour net. But yeah, so as we're going around, I am impressed. Again, then your spaces get carried away in that. But yeah, so here we are at the sawmill. So this is all about with a missing sawmill production building. Can purchase the sawmill. You can also hear said sawmill. But yeah, wood chip point, I guess, in that dump point. 
But yeah, it's all just cracking on and churning. But yeah, you got your wood chip out the area over here and that, but seems to be like a missing building that somewhere to be like over here or even like over here and that. But yeah, again, I'm not too sure now. I'm just again commenting on some feedback and that from one experience in here. Like you, the viewer, may want to know. You apologize there. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a cough fit the hair was coming on. But yeah, that was the sawmill. And then lastly, this is going to be your carpentry area. So again, all base names off. It has, yeah, again, not just going over, say, banging on, like, criticizing it's all base names stuff and that. No, 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 no. Yeah, just commenting on the productions and that. Especially if you're just watching this part now, as we get to the end of the map tour now with score and rating system and that. But yeah, so yeah, I think that's everything we've covered in that. So yeah. We'll head back to the farm now as we start like wrap the map tour up here, so yeah, also awesome maps and that. So yeah, this is the new American by Samuel Batista Modding. And yeah, for his first map and that, 39.8 megabytes of downloads. Simple stuff and that, I do have to give it a solid rating of 4 out of 5. And the only reason why it's not getting any more than the 4 is, again, the, the small issues we've got here. It's not game breaking or anything, but it, it does break the immersion that. Maybe something for it to do ship over, over this area here and that, so... Yeah, maybe... Maybe just an idea, like... Right? have a marker or something over here it has a box at least or at least have something I think that sort of tells you where to put your vehicle to because if you go here and that you know oh I think it's here and that alright <laughs> that didn't quite work out apparently there's a big trigger area then but yeah so this area over here I'm guessing he's done it with these ground textures and that Going up here now. Yeah, maybe they, again the textures was a guide to how it starts, but then get these same textures over here now. So yeah, I'm not too sure now, but again, just minor things that that may need updating. Not saying the map will be updated, I'm just saying it will need one in my opinion that. But yeah, four out of five, cracking little map here and that, so yeah, okay. Easy play on this map. I want to if there wasn't so many maps I want to play on in that. And so maybe this phase I want to get done and finish and all other stuff in that. But yeah, do I recommend the new American as it is at the moment? Yes, crack on that because yeah, with the things that needs fixing or possibly changing, it will not require a new game to save in that. But yeah, simple American map. And if you want to play a it's sort of get into like your mind maps and that if you're a new player in that. Yeah, this be the map for you and that. Because yeah, it is a modern map, of course not base game. But it does utilize all the base game stuff in that base game equipment. And then, yeah, personally if I was gonna play this and set this up. Yeah, I'll keep the main form as it is and that. I, I won't say remove that. Maybe upgrade to something like this, but in more of a multi-fruit function. Add a little jet washing that over here and that. And yeah, apart from that, maybe upgrade the combine that because that tends to be one of the first things is upgrade the combines and that to get something a bit bigger than that. Especially for this map and that. So you can go absolute huge with the fields on this map if you want to. But anyways, that is the new American map by Samuel Batista Modin. As always. Hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.